Magisk's gonna hide behind sandbags. And we get an all-in from Heroic. But, good util to flush him out. It's Heroic with the first blood. It's Apex looking to take it back. The other in-game leader got a frag. How about Apex? Yeah, not quite. It's an assist instead as Jabby comes around the site and they clear out the three original defenders. Spawn shuts down Sphinx and we get the classic here from Heroic. Kills from everybody. Yeah, and a very, very fast round as well as they come quickly up the A ramp. No retake in store for Vitality in this situation. It's a done deal. Very nice start from Heroic. And it's the, it's the real rematch. It's the real rematch is what we're watching. But uh, we aren't getting the exact same map. So instead of Mirage last time, it was Inferno. And uh, that's where it, and Inferno, uh, sorry, and uh, Inferno's not in the pool, or does it end on Inferno? It ends on point? Inferno here. It ends on Inferno, okay. Hey, something to note immediately though, is Heroic shows the T side. They don't want to face off against Apex's best T side in the world. Heroic want to be the ones that are dictating the pace in this one. They want to fight against that Zywu M4A1S that's shooting the Heroic coming right at him. Little spam damage, not enough. Does set up Dupree though for a nice second. That headshot necessary. Tess in through middle, also stuffed. It's a triple. We talked about Dupree's multi kills. But he's going one better. However, six seconds. That bomb's got to get planted. Kadian has to hold them off. He presses through the smoke. And Apex with the chance. Oh. Down to the wire here. 15 seconds and they're still not even pressed short. Not even at the top of ramp. Those five seconds to spare will be critical. And Sphinx is going to shave Shush off the plate. Oh. Down fumbles with the bomb. And Apex from the corner just owns them. I mean, Yabby yeah, showed some teeth that last round. But this round, yep, he's dead first. Serves as the push, though. Heroic going to try to play the pace. They lost the mid play. Ooh, everybody gets shut out. A kill apiece between Sphinx, Magisk, and Dupree. They waited for this gun round. They're getting spammed through smoke. <laughs> Vitality are coming in, charging them down. And just... Clear out sight. It's burning for now. Shush dives in. Two sets of Berettas just charging them down. Kadian whips back between them all. And then Tess has clear Sphinx. But that's damage on Apex out of Kadian. Tess about it. just keeping himself down and he pops up to kill Apex. All of a sudden, Magisk, he's gonna feel stranded. At least with fire on Tess. Now oh. smoke, he'll hold this. A frag grenade, not oh. enough. Six health as Tess is a boulder behind the sandbags. Vitality just want him dead so they can at Shoot least leave or go in. You need to be shooting his feet right now. They gotta kill him and Stown's now coming in to help. Vitality looks so scared oh. and then they, they just throw the molly. Stown comes around the corner. Tess robs away another. Vitality finally take him down. Zywu with a missed off shot. And He's already thinking about if they're leaving. So he oh. keeps right oh, 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 Down he goes. Not only that, he sees Zywu walking back. Yep. So they all depart. There's I think been a big we, gap in middle, though. I think we get a late retest on A. Yeah, they throw the, the, they throw the sandbag smoke on the A ramp. Stown can safely approach it. They can find out after a certain amount of time that there's no time to fall back, that it's not going to be the A site, and then they can go and stack the correct location. Oh, but you know what? An interesting move here out of Vitality. Splitting up for once. I'm just going to run it up. Katie and kills Dupree. Nothing. We saw it previously. Two players try to get in on each site. And just like that, you thought you had a special plan. Instead, all you have is a flat ending and a flat first map. Because this whole time, Stown's been sitting on sandbags. There is nothing more that Vitality will offer us on Vertigo. And this felt like one of those maps so deeply entrenched in their map pool, meant to be their fourth of util. So it all sets up this B hit. Oh, wow. It's a long range gush. Zaiwu still trying to put up kills, and sure enough, gets himself a double. Dupree it's catching Kadian, but Bomb is still on site, oh. and Tessess creates that necessary space for Shush to come off of this plant and reposition. Retakes on. As mentioned, no kit. And they're just going to play this shoulder to shoulder. Sphinx and Dupree, Zaiwu's henchman. Looking to move this one outwards. Tessas takes a position up in market, leaves Shush on site. That's where Sphinx will fall. And this would be three for three in pistols, the way of Heroic. A bomb tap to get them out. Nice. 10 seconds still. And he thinks Tessas is further back. Oh. When in re But the Sphinx cat hold. Zywu spam smoke. More arriving. Easy for the Israeli. Third one, not quite his. Apex trying to finish it off. They know they've got Kadian wounded. They know they've got Heroic in a tough spot. 2v4. 
Stown, if you want that MVP, and this would be the map to go off. But they give him space. Remember, Bomb is still down catwalk, so it's going to be very difficult with this amount of time and with Kadian over here to ever get that back. They can hunt frags all they want, but now they know exactly where the last man is. Kadian stuck here. Magis sweeps him. And, <laughs> and it's all about you. Kadian's USB down beneath Palace, taps into Sphinx. He gets himself a second. And now they're going to be exposed to the ticket player, but there is a bounce back already. Jabby comes up, taps down two. Third one on a silver platter, but it's Zaiwu. Oh, and a tap through smoke. That's nasty, but it's not enough. Guy here said, I don't believe it. Yeah, that one guy at least dropped Zaiwu. Good deagle kill out of Jabby. Stowning Kadian's sidearms up next. Tough shot to hold that cross with lesser weapons. Bomb plant for catwalk made easy. Now they're just going to try to flood out, fly forward. They get caught on the exit of market, as you would expect. This one gets cleaned up, cleared out, cold. This is an infuriating half if you're heroic. Oh, yeah. This in. And Vitality, they play grouped. Dupree taking it into his own hands with a double kill again. Jabby is his next victim from down beneath. Dupree puts up a third. Oh, but Kadian just tries to keep it alive. I mean, that one shot, the only thing that goes for Heroic, it's desperate, isn't it? Or is it glorious? A 2v5 is what's required, and now the 1v2 falls to Tessess. He's gonna take a quick glance up towards Palace. Zaiwu doubles back, a smoke to get on Bomb, a kit as well to stick it, but you would think that spam comes through in an instant, and so it's desperation, and it's not... Definitely sections off the two pack of players, but oh, the Berettas can't quite finish the second. Dupree will get him. Oh, shush. Apex turns it down, extending, trying to catch that short kill. So he just exposes himself to mid. And for the first time in this series, it looks like Vitality will indeed. Information. Quick glimpse of one another. Oh, the repeat. Jabby and Tessess. And Kadian is the third. Apex is just gonna run up, gives his back to the 5-7. You thought he left. Yeah, you said you wanted to see that banana fight. Well, here we have it. First gun round out of the defense. Instantly, we get a critical hold. They picked up Dallas. Javi. Yeah, come get it. Oh, <laughs> Spinks will dig him out. Kadian's there with the pistol. And Tess has to support it. So your pistols get nothing. It is fun. It's gonna be into the B site. Zaiwu awaits them. His Beretta's ready, but just to. Just two. Bomb plant is a lock. Can't Apex. stop that. Can't get into this one. Matt just quickly on the flank. Gets Ooh. stuffed by Jabby. He knows there's another. Gets away from him, though. Three kills to the Berettas between Zaiwu and Dupree. And now the 2v2, but there's individual duels going down. And Dupree's Ooh. reloading two guns. No kit. Pops back up. Bomb nearing the halfway point. He's going to just try to pepper, charge down this gap, and then get on top of that bomb. Oh. But if he gets this 10-second stick, this would be incredible. Washington, you hold your tongue. You, you just wait. But he comes up! Oh. Oh. It's a wrap around the arch. Dupree drawn into a gunfight that he can't win. But they're still going to try to press out, even with the Apartments player there and successful. Apex, he's not sure who to shoot at, but he stops the bomb. Shush comes back with the return. The SMG is still able to thrive. Ooh. Sphinx keeps his head down, but that's two rifles that have fired off in pit. Jabby comes hunting, dies to Magisk. Bomb is still down, and Magisk, the best teams in the world. Dupree given one more chance, but he only puts up one more kill. And all heroic need is one more round. But Zaiwu is alive. And he is looking for more. Shush crosses into the backside. Zaiwu probably feeling like he has no support in this moment. If you are the best in this world, if you are the best of this year, then show us. Prove it. Apex, a little bit of damage. They're still worried about some kind of a flank, some kind of a lurk, and who other than Kadian to strike them down? The Jester makes a fool of Vitaly! And on the U-ring season in Washington, it's her!